Welcome to the City of Hamilton's Materials Recycling Facility, or MRF for short. In Hamilton, we have a two-stream recycling system. This means that your papers and cardboard go into one blue box and your containers go into a separate blue box. The material is collected and taken to the materials recycling facility to be sorted further. Trucks enter the site and weigh in on a large scale. The scale ensures that all material coming into and leaving the site is tracked. Notice how the back of the truck is separated into two compartments. Papers and containers stay separated when collected. From the scale, the trucks make their way to the tipping floor. The tipping floor is also divided into two. Containers on one side of the building and papers on the other. Approximately 40 truckloads are brought to the facility every day. Today we are going to follow the process of the containers line. First, a front-end loader is used to transfer the material into the drum feeder, also known as the hopper. The drum feeder feeds the material into an inclined conveyor and uses screens to remove small particles and glass. The remaining material then goes to the first manual sort line, while the broken glass and small particles travel to a glass cleanup system. The glass cleanup system uses fine screens to separate the broken glass from the remaining residue. Residue is a term used for remaining contamination. It is sent for final disposal while the broken glass is now ready to be picked up and recycled. As the material passes through the manual sorting line, staff begin to remove thin plastics and large oversized materials like large water cooler bottles and detergent bottles by hand. These materials are sent down chutes into bunkers. Tied plastic bags are sent through the bag breaker, which opens the bags allowing the material inside to be sorted. The material then passes by the film grabber. It uses airflow and suction to remove any film from the sorting line and sends it through an air tube to its own bunker. Film is thin plastics like grocery bags. The remaining material is sent to a second manual sorting station. The goal is to capture any plastics that may have been missed. The material passes under a large magnet that removes any steel containers. The remaining material passes through the eddy current. The eddy current has a drum rotor inside that spins at 2700 RPM. As it spins, it creates an electrical current and causes the aluminum to fly over a wall in one direction, while the rest of the material travels a different direction towards the PET optical sorter. PET is a type of clear plastic water bottles are commonly made from. The PET optical sorter uses specialized sensors to mechanically separate the smaller PET material like plastic fruit clamshells and peanut butter jars. These materials are sent through an air tube to a bunker while the remaining material is sent to the T-Tech optical sorter. The T-Tech optical sorter uses an infrared light to identify and separate film and mixed plastics. The film and mixed plastics eject onto two separate smaller conveyors that move the material to their bunkers. Any remaining material that does not get sorted out is then sent to the residue quality control line. The residue quality control line is one of the most important stages in the sorting process and is unique to the city of Hamilton. Quality control workers review all of the remaining contents and pick out any recyclables that may have been missed. All the remaining material is considered residue and is sent to the landfill. A small bucket loader transfers the separated material from each bunker into a machine called a baler. The baler is used to compact the materials and tie them together with strong metal wires. Forklifts lift the bales onto transport trucks and are sent to be recycled into something new.